What if your problem notes are different from mine? I had a lot of very concrete suggestions for middle C sharp, C, and low G in my problem notes meditation, but someone responded to me and said that her problem was middle B flat. There's nothing funny about my middle B flat. I've never given any thought to that note, but every oboe is different, right? I've had instruments where octave G sharp was a huge issue, and oboes where it uh, wasn't. The high register, like second octave A, B, and C, react just a little differently from one instrument to the next. Top line F has a lot of variability. I get how some people have different problem notes. So today, let's do a meditation around your least favorite note. Play it for me now, for a good 8 to 12 beats. Can you put some words on what you don't like about it? Is it too resistant? Too sharp or flat? Too skinny? Too foggy? Let's play it again, and this time, can you exaggerate the thing you don't like about the note? Notice what you're physically doing when you do that. This time, when you play it, let's try to take that exaggeration out and go a little in the opposite direction. To further change the character of the note, you could consider the vowel shape that you're making inside your mouth. Is it an oo? an O, an A. You could consider finding a different resonance point inside your body. For me, high notes feel like they happen up in my forehead. Really high ones are up at the top of my head. Lower notes sometimes sit in my sternum, or sometimes sort of in my double chin area. As you play this next long tone, bring your attention to your body, and notice where it wants to resonate. You could consider focus. Does this note require you to focus your air more or less? To focus into the oboe or outside it? To focus down through the bell or out through the keys? If you imagine playing this note on a great big stage, would that feel better or worse to you? What do you need to do with the reed for this note? You might try rolling it in or out of your mouth just a tiny bit, just sort of disappearing and reappearing your lips a little. You might think about how open or closed your mouth is inside your mouth and consider your jaw placement. If you found a good solution for your problem note now, let's try it out with some context. Find the nearest note to it on your instrument that's a, quote, normal note. The closest note you actually like, and try slurring from that to your problem note and back. Do those notes relate to each other comfortably, on the same air? 
If you have to do something crazy inside your mouth to fix your problem note, you won't be able to really use that in real life. Is there a compromise somewhere that works to relate your good note to your old problem note? Now let's do a little power scale, incorporating your problem note. So just a five note scale. And let one of those notes be your problem note. Are you able to keep it in line so it sounds like all the other notes on your oboe? Congratulations, you have solved your problem. That is beautiful. Go forth and be beautiful.